yes good morning children St uh, student of standard 6 so now today we are going to see about what is citizenship your third lesson is about citizenship before that i will explain you some points about that citizenship is very necessary and what is first we are going to see about difference between citizen and citizenship citizen means people living in a country and enjoying all the rights they may be people from foreign also but what do you mean by they are citizens not citizen of india but now we are going to see about citizenship citizenship means it is the permission given by the government it is that we are the citizen of india and enjoy for we are permanently staying here and enjoy all the right we can cast vote we can contest for election so this is called citizenship every country has their own citizenship our india also has given us citizenship first we acquire citizenship by birth so when you are born so your parent goes to the municipality to note your name and you get the citizenship that is birth certificate so birth certificate whenever it is necessary when you uh, go to the school the principal the school management ask for the first for the birth certificate that you are the citizen of india or no second there are many different cards are been made for going for election we need election card and now also bank or anywhere you want so aadhar card which is very necessary so this all school identification so you are having id cards so when you were school provide you id card so you were id card and that means that you are the uh, student of that school so these are all the different id cards first we can say that family a child born in a family it is a social institution from which the child gets contact with the family and it is after that all different uh, you become the citizen you come to know about other thing a group of family forms a village a group of village forms a town a group of town forms a city a group of city forms a country total country forms a continent so the world full whole comes in that now i will explain you on the screen you will see to this very uh, sharply and you will come to know that how you can get even if you want to become the citizenship of foreign you want to get foreign card so you can get but you have to stay permanently there for 5 years then you can acquire the citizenship of that so before that you have to leave the uh, india citizenship of india and then you can get the citizenship of foreign countries so the people who are foreigners they are not the citizen they are only temporary they cannot cast the vote they cannot get the post uh, in uh, government offices they cannot contest for election so these all are uh, for the citizen of only who are india who are staying permanently in india now you will see to the screen in this module you will learn about man as a citizen you must have seen elections you would also have seen ads that urge citizens to vote what is voting why should we vote who is a citizen let's look for answers to some of these questions in ancient greece there were small city states and only a few people had civic rights slaves had no rights aristotle the ancient philosopher said that a man enjoying administrative and judicial rights was a citizen
This idea has become wide. So, now, what is citizenship? Aristotle, now we are, uh, we are seeing. So, I will explain about that. Citizenship means all the people who are staying in India, they should get the citizenship. So, before citizenships were not allowed for the slaves, for uh, not all the others. But now, all caste and all, if they are slave or if they are Hindu or Muslim or Christian, everyone enjoys the rights and that is called citizen, they acquire citizenship from the God. Here in modern times, a modern citizen is one who resides in a state and enjoys all the political and social rights given by the state. Citizenship is the relationship between the citizen and the state. Let us find out more about that relationship in our country. Citizenship in India began after independence. On January 26, 1950, India declared itself a sovereign democratic republic. That's when the Citizenship Act and policies came into effect. In 1955, citizenship laws were enacted in our country. According to this law, there are five ways of becoming an Indian citizen. See, how we acquire citizenship. First is by birth. You are born here in India. So you acquire the citizen by naturally. Descent. Suppose your parents are from here and so you can get from a citizen of your descent. Naturalization. So when your parents, suppose your father is from uh, America and your mother is of India and he has already acquired here. So naturalization. Registration. So suppose you are want to become the citizen of India and you are not down here and you are stayed for five years. So that is called registration and acquisition of territory. Even property also. It depends on this you can get the citizenship. Birth, descent, naturalization, registration, acquisition of territory. The first is natural citizenship by which a person automatically becomes an Indian citizen. All people born in India on, before or after January 26, 1950 are Indian citizens. People can also become Indian citizens if their parentage is Indian. From January 7, 2004, a person born outside India has to have his birth registered at an Indian consulate within one year of the birth. He can also become an Indian citizen later in this date with the permission of the central government. A foreigner can register to become an Indian citizen by sending an application to the President of India. This process is handled by the Parliament. Foreigners can get citizenship if they fulfill certain conditions. They must have stayed in India for five years. They should know at least one of the languages approved by the parliament. They should show good conduct. Finally, they should not have been found to be guilty of criminal conduct. See, what if a foreigner? Foreigner means from other countries. India is a country from other countries. If they want to become, get the citizenship of this. First one, they have to stay in India at least for five years. No, uh, any one language which is approved by parliament. Show good conduct. Conduct means behavior. Then, not to be con committed or criminal offense in an Indian court. Or if he is coming from foreign land, suppose he has committed any offense. So, he will not get the citizenship of that country. 
in an Indian court. Foreigners can also become citizens by marrying an Indian. If India acquires any foreign territory, its residents automatically become Indian citizens. Thus, when India acquired Goa in 1961, the people of Goa became Indian citizens. Now we know how a person acquires citizenship. But can citizenship be given up or lost? A person can voluntarily give up citizenship. If a person becomes a citizen of another country, he no longer remains a citizen of India. If a child is adopted by a citizen of another country, the child becomes a citizen of that country. Becoming an Indian citizen by fraud or activities that prove a person to be a traitor could also cause loss of citizenship. Or the other country with single citizenship. We also lose the citizenship. Understand? If we commit any criminals or if we uh, are not uh, uh, to the state, if we favor to the state, it will, we will lose our this. So these all are many things. If we are corrupt, it also uh, we lose our citizen. Any criminals are committed by us. If we are again, if we are against India or we, if we don't know, if we don't follow rules and regulation of India, then too also we will lose our citizenship. So these many things are there. How can we lose our citizenship? Now we are going to study about single citizenship of our nation. This is distinct from countries with dual citizenship. For example, in the United States of America, a person is a citizen of the country as well as a citizen of the federal state to which he or she belongs. See here, first we are not having dual citizen, we are having single citizenship. If you are the citizen of Gujarat, suppose if you want to study in Maharashtra or, or other state or if you want to do job, all our cards, election cards or our citizenship will be final there. Only single citizen all over the country. But suppose USA, there are dual citizenship. The citizenship of one country and the, he also has the another citizenship to which state he belongs. Suppose I am a member from citizen of Gujarat. So in that way in USA if he is uh, belonging to one state, he will acquire the citizenship. So there are dual citizenship there and our country has only one single citizenship. Not every person staying in India is an Indian citizen. People come from different countries who work, education, trade, employment and so on. After some time they leave our country. So here it is shown that any foreigners they come to our country and stay. So for education they can come, for any uh, suppose hospitalization is any, for theory, for treatment he comes to our country. So at that time, but he is not the citizen of our country. Understand, he stay for that till he studies or till he is sick, if he is cured, if treatment is completed, then he go back. That is not an Indian citizen is called an alien. Such people cannot vote or contest in our elections and do not have all the rights enjoyed by Indian citizens. So what rights do we as Indian citizens enjoy? The state of India grants us a variety of social and political rights. These rights are recognized in the Supreme Court and all other courts in India. All citizens above 18 years, whatever their social status or economic background, have the right to vote. 
They have the right to stand for elections and hold offices in government. They have the right to own property. So here what it is explanation that if you have the also enjoy certain fundamental rights which are recognized. See here what it is shown that if you have the citizenship of getting the citizenship of India by birth, we can enjoy, we can contest for election and we can vote, but only after completing 18 years and we can enjoy all the rights given by the government and also there are some fundamental rights which we can enjoy. And there are supreme courts are there. Suppose if you are not you are given not given your you are snatched away from your property. So suppose if you are not getting uh, admission in school colleges, so you can go to the court for the uh, you can go to the court for that. By a court of law and cannot be taken away from anyone. Some of these are the right to equality, freedom, equality of opportunities, and freedom to practice one's choice of religion. Rights exist only with corresponding duties. As citizens, we... See, you have studied here, right to equality, right to the property, right to education. If you, are, you can make your own house, property, nobody can come again here. If your property is being snatched, you can file in the court. Suppose, if you are not given education in your school colleges, you can file the court. So, these all are seven constitutional freedoms are given to us. And with the help of these rights, even there are some duties also which the citizen have to follow. We have several duties towards the nation. We should be aware of the problems and issues facing the country. People above 18 years should actively participate in voting. We should protect our national heritage, including monuments and national parks, take care of the environment and respect the national flag at all times. We should strive for high moral character and good health which will allow us to contribute meaningfully to the country. So what it is said that what our people How can we participate in the development of our So how it is said that if we are having rights, which it is also our duties, same heritage. So now if you are going to public gardens, don't destroy anything. If you are coming to school, it may be private school, don't damage the benches. Don't damage anything. And all the government properties, save them. So that is our duty. Pay the taxes in time. These all are our duties. And whenever we drive our vehicles, we should always drive on the left side. So this is also our duties. And we should obey. And so that is, and have the good conduct. So that is also very necessary. So now next, how we participate in the development? A country. In a democracy, the role of the citizen is one of eternal vigil. Citizens must keep a sharp eye on the government and ensure that it contributes to general welfare. People can form or participate in voluntary organizations to work for causes such as children's education or women's rights. Citizens have the right to information which allows them to demand information from the government. Citizens can help keep the government open and transparent by exercising this right in a sensible manner. People in the mass media should ensure that a balanced, healthy opinion is formed. Thus, citizenship is a two-way process. While we have rights that ensure our safety and security, we should also be responsible citizens and participate in helping our country march ahead.
These are all the we can obtain. The citizenship laws of 1955 is five days in which one can become an Indian citizen. See, first is by birth, descent, registration, naturalization, and acquisition of territory. Second point, India grants its citizens certain fundamental rights such as right to equality, right to freedom, right to uh, equality of opportunities, and the rights to practice one's own religion. If you are Hindu, if you are Muslim, if you are Christian, suppose if you are Christian, you want to change into Hindu. It is by the registration you can become Hindu. Now, if you want to become Parsi, by registration you can Parsi. And it is the government that nobody or any person can force you to change your religion. So, so this is practice one's own religion. And it is all that we can make our own property. So, democracy means it is for the people, of the people and by the people. So, India, we are having democratic rules and it is one, we, it is the citizen of India who, uh, it is the citizen who elect their, who choose their own government by voting. So, election is very important and citizenship it is very important. If you go anywhere, if you go to the bank, if you go to the school, if you step anywhere, your uh, card is very necessary. Whether you are citizen, you are acquiring citizenship of this country or not. And these rules are followed by all. If you are traveling also, it is very necessary that your Aadhaar card is very necessary. So it is very compulsory that you should have your card means your citizens of India or no. So thank you.